All right, the Sweetest Day Comedy Jam features an all-star lineup, including nephew Tommy, Tony Roberts, Gary Owen, and actor and comedian Bill Bellamy. He oh. is joining us now. Yes. Yes. Uh, Show on his latest project. Thank y'all for having me. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 Chicago right. in the building. I Say, I was watching an old video of you yes. from the 90s yes. with Janet Jackson. Mm -hmm. You look like a baby and you have not changed at all. Well, I'm still a baby, but I'm just an older baby now. <laughs> a wiser baby. <laughs> a wiser baby. But that was one of the best moments of my career because I just remember the 90s being so fun. Yeah. And uh, Janet would give me all these great interviews. And, and back then she was so mysterious. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's like, Janet doesn't talk, she only whispers. Mm -hmm. But she would laugh with me. Yeah. She's like, Bill, you're so crazy. <laughs> I used to bring out her personality, and everybody thought we had like a little something, something going Ooh, on. Okay, you know? well, that's a nice little rumor to yeah. start. I know, I was right? like, you, you can tie me with the velvet rope. <laughs> <laughs> Like, those are memories that you used in your book yes. and you put together your new book. So you made really good time of COVID oh. and came up with a, a fantastic, like, memoir. Yeah, it w well, my memoir is really a great ride in the 90s because that's when I came in the entertainment yeah. game. And, you know, there were so many opportunities in music and television. And, 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 and I was just in the middle. I caught a wave when MTV was just starting. That's my book, Top mm -hmm. Billing, is out everywhere right now. And I take people back. And the one thing that I noticed that people say when they read my book, it was like, Bill, I remember that. Yes. I saw you in Aaliyah. Mm -hmm. I was in... I was at uh, Montgomery High School, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Well, I was in college, and I came to spring break. So people have time stamps, yeah. and I think, yeah. like, books and music give you an opportunity to go right back to a moment. Yeah, yeah. I, lo I mean, MTV was new. I yeah. mean, we were just starting to get more state TV stations. All these great musicians were up and coming, and you yeah. were right in the center of it, and everybody knows your name. How have you stayed so relevant for so many years? Well, I'm crazy. Okay, that's good. <laughs> well, that's good. Stay crazy. <laughs> but I just think you keep evolving, right? Because I knew I couldn't be on MTV for my whole life. Like, I was like, this is a moment that I know is going to end at some point. So I just started doing movies and doing TV and just keep going like this, and my career just kept evolving every, like, two, three years. I'd be on a TV show, or you see yeah. me in a movie. Yeah, yeah. I never thought I could write a book, though. Like, that seems so um, adult. That sounds yeah. I am an author. Yeah. Yeah. I am an author. Thank you very much. Published author. <laughs> yeah. right. But as much as you evolve, you yes. still keep coming back to the comedy. Yeah. Which is what brought you, brings you here this weekend. Yeah. I love Sweetest doing stand-up. Sweetest day stand -up. weekend. Yeah. I love doing stand-up because it's my real personality. Like, the one thing that I can do that's so me. Yeah. I feel like when people come see me, uh, do stand-up, they learn, like, the real Bill Bellamy. Like, they'll be like, oh, my God, Bill's so stupid, Bill's so crazy, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I try to come at least twice a year if I can. Uh -huh. Like, tonight, I'm going to be at the Erie Crown Friday and Saturday, and then in December, I'll I'll do the Schomburg yes. because it's out in the suburbs, you know. People don't want to do the traffic. Mm. So I come to you in Schomburg. <laughs> Does the Schomburg sound ritzy? No, I'm well, from Schomburg. <laughs> Straight out of Shampoo. Straight out of Shami. Welcome to the Sham. Welcome to the Sham. We had really big hair from the mall back in the day. Uh, what, were you, what were you guys like in the 90s? I'm just curious. Uh, like, did you do a lot of hairspray? Like, oh, gosh. It's called the mall wall. Did, you did that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember the loud colors we used to wear? You yes. never Bad idea. Bad uh, idea. The yes. loud color king. I was orange. I was yellow. Hammer pants. Bright blue. I didn't do the hammer pants, okay. but I had the high top way up here. Yeah. Like, I had the kid in play. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just I would remember not do it now, laughing but. a lot. It's times have changed, but we don't want to go down that well, road because that just goes to show you how old you are. Yeah. I know. But this, but this was funny because I was just, <laughs> just kind of looking over and I'm like, let, let me look up Bill's Wikipedia page. Oh and do you know what's in the first paragraph of your Wikipedia what page? He coined the phrase <laughs> booty call. That's what they know about me. That's like, on that's... the first paragraph of your Wikipedia <sighs> page. Well, I did. Like but you did. Okay. I did. I okay. Did so we got because... you to thank for that. Yes, because... Back in the day, what people don't realize is when you were doing comedy, we had to be very, very conservative on TV, right? Yeah. So I was always trying to be clever. Like, what could I say on television that would still be funny but would work? So booty call is just a fun way of saying what you're doing. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And did you get a booty call? What? <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know but, but it's like now it's tender. Uh, you know, back in the day it was bumble, booty call yeah, and right. cute and whatever, bumble. We didn't, These kids now, they don't know the art of the real booty no, call. Baby. The no. phone call, the mm -hmm. anticipation, mm -hmm. you know, maybe she'll come, maybe she won't. No texting, you're hoping. Now, yeah. now, the new kids can see the booty coming like a pizza. <laughs> you can see the booty coming. <laughs>
<laughs> you can like five feet, four or three. Hi, uh -huh. how are you? You know uh -huh. what I mean? Uh -huh. They're lazy. I gotta yes. ask you real quick, because it seems like comedy is coming back around where like the cancel culture is dying off a little bit. Yeah. People are starting to like comedy for what it is again. Do you yeah. feel that way? Yeah. Okay. And I think it's always waves in the culture, you know. We get we get really, really sensitive and then we get really, really, really like free, right? And I think Freedom of speech, I think comedy is one of those things that should just be what it is because it's an yes. art form. It's not serious. I do a joke about it. Like, it's not that serious. You come to a comedy club, you can't take me like serious. Yeah, you just right. gotta have a good time. It's to laugh. And you laugh. need cocktails and me, yeah. and it's over. I'm with you on that one. Mm -hmm. All right, this weekend, tonight. 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 And tomorrow night at the Airy Crown, Sweetest Day Comedy Jam. Go Look check out the Look at that handsome man. Look at that handsome man. How are you getting that suit? Oh. What? If All you right, can't get tickets, looking good. <laughs> Aaron Schomburg in December. Yes. And then also the book. Yeah, I also. come to the burbs, you know, people. Some people don't like the traffic. Right, you go to the people. Thanks, right. Bill. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs>